Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? We have just finished the Bahrain Grand Prix for the first season in Formula Manager 2022. We've been doing Ferrari, and before I give you any spoilers, I'm gonna say if you haven't checked out the last video, I highly recommend you go there first before coming here. But anyways, if you have, let's dive straight into it, and I'm gonna give you those spoilers now to how we did. It was a Ferrari 1-2 for us. Charles Leclerc got the fastest lap, and Carlos Sainz, he came first, and we figured out that actually based off our contracts, it's better if we let Carlos go first if it is between Charles and Carlos because we save more money. Because if Carlos comes first, we pay him like 1.2 more. And if Charles comes first, we pay him 1.4, which is insane. But we are doing well. The board confidence is going up with us because we did just finish that race and we are far ahead of Red Bull and Mercedes. So that is fantastic. I doubt the board could be sad with us now based off our race performance. They were delighted in how we did. So that is awesome for us. Let's check up our emails. There's people saying there's an up-and-coming driver, Franco Colapinto. Uh, that might be an option. He's got good growth potential. He's young. We're not using our scouts at the moment, so let's go down to Franco Colapinto and actually just let's scout him. Let's do a proper detailed scouting on him. We have three scouts available. I didn't even realize that. What I was actually thinking that we should be doing is looking at our staff and just checking out our weakest staff member is the technical chief. So maybe we should go and look at scouting for a replacement for him just in case, you know, let's look at other highly rated people. Here, watch is better. Uh, you know, we're gonna have money. We could maybe, we could try and... I don't want to propose a contract right now, but let's do a detailed scouting on him just to know that later on, things go well, it might be an option. The horse, funny enough, has a really good guy, but he's a bit old. So we might want to look at some other people. Alpine, Matt Harmon, he might... He might get better, so let's let's have a look at him as well. So we'll do some detailed scouting here, just to get our scouts out there and doing things. Because we don't have to worry about our drivers. I think our drivers are locked in for a long time. But let's go back and check our other emails. We've got the scouts going there. Our suspension has been manufactured, which is fantastic. Go to the car, see if we can put those on. We have suspension here, change. Put that one on there. Are we manufacturing more or are we not? Okay, how much? Does it, it takes five days. So, based off of that, oh, we're not going to be done in time of, for the, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I'm going to rush this approach to get it done in... I don't even think that's going to work. I think we just go on for the full-on emergency approach with our suspension here. And then we can make... We can manufacture... We can install it there on car number two. And we can manufacture two more at a normal rate. And that should be good for us. There we go. So sorry, I'm bouncing around a lot right now. Just checking out what we need to do. Post-race. Okay, well, you can see the whole last video for what happened. But basically, we got a 1-2. Verstappen did crash into us. That was quite crazy. And here's a message from the board. They say they are increasing their confidence in me immensely, which is great. I'm getting job security. I love job security. It's awesome. Oh, what a crazy race. So the race debrief is we need to focus on getting our engine cooling on our cars better. And then Carlos Sainz's reaction time is not fantastic. So again, we did check everyone's points. We leveled them up. Everything's good there. Oh, we got another point here for the head of arrow. So let's just look. The cooling is what we're sucking at. So let's go get our cooling up. Let's just double check. Nobody else has any extra random points lying around that we're not using. Cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. I also want to check just quickly on the car parts development. Can we start a new project? We cannot. So let's not worry about that. And then let's look at the calendar and go through to Jeddah. This is going to be crazy. We have a design that is complete. The suspension design is complete. Oh no, we just made new suspensions. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, I'm wasting my money. I didn't know we were making a new suspension. That's terrible. That is terrible. What have I done? Okay, we're going into Jeddah. Guys, we have a brand new suspension. <laughs> oh no, we just wasted our money on this one. Can I, can I cancel? No, I can't. Oh, and suspension manufacturing is already in process, so we can't even put the new one on. And the new one's so much better. Well, it's only slightly better, but it's better. We, we've we really messed this one up, guys. We have messed this one up. I could go back in the save, but I think I'm going to take that. So I'm going to take the fact that I messed it up. Now, at least we don't mind if we destroy our suspensions. But yeah, we've wasted some money there. Already pro Ferrari strategy in play there. Okay, so qualifying, I believe that both of our drivers will easily get into Q2 and Q3. Uh, if we don't, well, we, yeah, hang on a second, I need to save that, yes, confirm the changes, confirm the changes, okay, we're doing our sponsor payouts, that's all happening, that's good, fastest lap, I think we can do it again, I think we can get the fastest lap, and 
finishing position streak. I think we can definitely get that done. I think we can get hot streak target three times, getting at least one driver finishing on the podium, or even fourth. I think we'll be it will be easy to get that. We have to have a really bad race for that to not happen. But let's see, let's see how I do. So that's good for us. I think we got some good sponsor targets there. Let's look at our facilities quickly, because I did think about it. I was thinking maybe we need to focus more on, I want to focus on getting my staff to be better. The design center, engineer capacity goes up and project capacity will go up to three. We could do three projects. I think that's going to be huge. I think that'll be huge for us, but that's very expensive. But I think that will be massive for us. I think it will help us a lot in the long term. Scouting department, I'm not too phased with. And then the operations facility, we do want to make our team more attractive as well and get the morale up. I think the morale is the most important one. So let's do the memorabilia room. Let's let's get that morale up because we want our staff to be able to, we have very good staff, so we want to retain them and try and get the contracts like renewed with them. And we can try the helipad. We need a good helipad. We're Ferrari after all. Team attractiveness might be huge for us as well. Okay, we're spending a lot of money on just making sure we get the right people. Because we've got really good people and I want to keep those really good people. And I want to be able to, to build up like the confidence gain is fine because we're currently doing well. But we can worry about that more later if we're not doing so well to just upgrade the boardroom, make the board happy. But let's go ahead to the calendar. We're going to the race weekend. All right, here we are in Jeddah. As usual, we're driving in a desert. So very, very, very unlikely for us to have rain. But this is a much faster circuit. So the race should be a bit quicker. Either way. We're going to do what we usually do, and we're going to skip the practice sessions. We're not going to put Giovinazzi in, but yeah, we're going to skip those practice sessions and just go straight up simulating through to qualifying. Again, we will lack on our car setup, unless we got unlucky some last time. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Let's see how we do with car setup. All right, so let's see how this went. How did it go? Pract oh, and this, this setup confidence is terrible. We might want to consider jumping in there. They didn't even get full track acclimatization with Charles Leclerc. What is going on? At least the car parts knowledge is gaining there, but sheesh, this is terrible from us. How is it so bad? I mean, it's literally like... Can I... Can I tweak this? I'm gonna tweak this a little bit because I, I have a feeling that this can be better. Like, how? How did we do so badly? I don't understand, man. I don't understand, but yeah, let's give that a shot. I know we can't test it, it's untested, but there's no way it's gonna be worse than that. The Ferrari strategy team's terrible. That's already clearly better. Oh, let's try this. Let's let's try to sort this stuff out. This is ridiculous. What is this sorcery? Like, come on, man. How are they so terrible? Anyways, that should be way better. I I didn't usually want to do this, but alas, I, I'm I'm tweaking it a bit because I believe that Ferrari's done a terrible job in practice there. Anyway, we're gonna simulate all of we're gonna simulate straight to the race and see how we qualify. Again, I'm highly disappointed in what's been going on. I feel like we actually might need to go do practice because, wow. Oh, we achieved pole position. That's also the first time in my career we've done it. Okay, so we're definitely doing okay. Charles is first there, and Carlos is down there in fourth. So I want to see, I want to see, what is our strategy going to be for the race? All right, it's race time. It's race time. I'm excited. I'm excited. So let's go and plan our strategies. I think this is a one-stop race. Yeah, it's very much medium to hard. Easy race there. Uh, what I might want to do is try and make Charles Leclerc push very hard here. And just try to get away from everyone. Like really push to get out of DRS from everyone. And then send him on hards and make him chill. We want to mix our strategies up a bit basically. And then Carlos, we can put him on the hard to medium strategy. And well, okay, we definitely don't need to go that many laps there. Uh... And we just try, we try keep it chilled on the hards as much as we can, and we push on the mediums. Well, well let's just push on both, actually. Oh, this is tense, actually. I don't want to push too hard. Okay, hards, we want to try keep them going as long as possible so that we can go do full push on mediums like that. Let's give that a shot. Let's see how we do if we try this strategy. I think this would be our best strategy right here. I'm going to push right off the bat. Um... I'm going to make both my drivers push. So Charles Leclerc is going to push fuel usage and he's going to deploy. And then Carlos is going to be focusing on trying to overtake and holding others back. We're going to do that real team strategy there. 
Look, our confidence is so much better just through that one little tweak we did. So we definitely need to do some confidence tweaking each time because the Ferrari strategy team is just not very smart. So let's go for the overtake strategy on Carlos because he's starting fourth. And yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Let's go. It's going to be crazy. Wait, our car parts. We're actually going through car parts pretty badly. I didn't think about this. We don't have to worry about this race, but we will start... We'll have to worry about it later because that could be an issue later on, having broken car parts in the race. But we'll see. We'll see what we do. Oh, those Ferrari side pods look so different. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's lights out and away we go. Wait. No, that was a slow wait. Yo, I would have jump started that like hardcore. Okay, how's it going? How's it going? Let's look at Science because he's going to try and make overtakes on these guys. Leclerc's just trying to pull away. I want to try to pull away from the DRS zone before DRS becomes enabled. That's the goal right now. And if we can get Science ahead of these guys to just hold them back a bit, that would be fantastic. But right now we're pushing hard with Leclerc to pull him far away from Perez and Verstappen here. And just send it to the lead. That is the goal right now. And we're doing well. We're doing well. Anything. There we go. We're going hard there. Now I think we can drop it to aggressive. Just stay ahead like that, and then hopefully Science here. Yeah. Science should be able to try and make a push on Verstappen or Perez. He's going for it, he's going for it. He's really trying hard. Leclerc's fallen far ahead, which is fantastic. I don't know how the rest of the field's doing, everyone's still bunched up. But this is tense. Oh, how crazy. I think we can even go neutral now with Leclerc. Because the others won't catch up to us. If we go balanced on fuel, we'll be okay. I want to make sure that Perez doesn't catch up to me. But Science, on the other hand, you have to go catch up to these guys. Leclerc is just dominating. Now we're going to lose a lot of money when he comes first, because that costs us a ton. But let's get Science past Max. Oh, it's happening. It's right there. It's happened. Look at those guys go. They're like neck and neck. It's insane. Okay, cool. We've made it past. We've made it past Verstappen. Can we make it past Perez? That is the question now. I want to try and make it past Perez to just hold him up, to be honest. Like, if we can get past Perez and just hold him up, and let Leclerc just chill, that would be great, you know? We can go standard already, because Leclerc's just flying. He's, he's like, got no competition there. It's all about this team strategy of, like, getting one driver ahead and holding up the others, and then just fighting for second on this driver here once we get past. Like, come on, make it pass. Perez isn't leaving the space. That he is. He's not even giving me the option to be a real racing driver. The overtake was failed there. Okay, come on, I need to. I need to just take a chill. I need to get past him. Otherwise, we probably just have to take it easy. I don't think it's going to happen. Is it going to happen? Let's see at the next straight if we do manage to take. Oh, it's happening. Although, I don't really want to get past him now, do I? We're going to lose our DRS zone. Okay, this is going to be intense because DRS is going to be enabled this lap. Very soon. I don't think we get DRS here, but we would get it on the next straight. So DRS is enabled. Okay, it's happened. Nobody has it yet, though. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Science has made a buy. He has made a past. We want to hold the guys back now. We're going to harvest a bit. Take a chilled on fuel. Actually, we want to keep pushing on fuel. We saw that place gain live, so I'm not going to rewatch that. But yeah, let's let's see if we can hold these guys up. Keep it really chilled for Leclerc. Leclerc's got a safe race, and we just have to look at science now and see what we can do. Okay. But even this pack here has pulled ahead of Russell, so it's literally just between Ferrari and Red Bull. Nobody else's competition in 2022. Okay. So I'm very excited to see what happens in 2023 with these guys, because this is going to be crazy. Okay, cool. We're holding them back. We're holding them back well, actually. It's going to be tense here, because it's going to be a DRS then. Competitor locked up. Who locked up? That could be a crash. Sector 2. Someone locked up. I think it was a Williams. Yeah, it looks like it was Latifi. Yep, Latifi locked up. No surprise. Let's look at what that did. Oh, that's not a good one at all. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, right. Oh, everyone's pushing. Oh, I think if anything, we just got to take a chill. Okay, no longer holding cars back behind because we want to keep on the back of Perez. We have DRS now, though, so that's good. 
I think we just want to take it easy. Take it easy now and just like stick with these guys essentially. I think that's the strategy. We don't want to push too hard because they're on softs. Oh no, actually Verstappen is on hards. Perez is on mediums. So, if anything, yeah, we just want to keep up with Perez. That's the goal right now. And look, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's all good. So let's speed that up a bit. Hopefully we don't lose too much now while harvesting. Should be okay there. Leclerc is doing fine on his ERS. We have such good ERS units at Ferrari. It's insane. I'm so used to playing with Aston Martin on my streams. And like, our car is terrible compared to this. This makes it so much easier to do well. Okay, we're at the end of that lap now. And look, we've kind of pushed up. We still managed to keep up with these guys, which is fantastic. So, alright, we just keep it going long for a bit. Look, wow, we're right up the back of them. And we're just harvesting our ERS, which is great. So we just got to keep an eye on those times of there to make sure we're good. But Leclerc is just pulling ahead. He's gone, you know. He's literally gone with the wind. It might be an issue when we switch to hards. They might catch up on us. But who knows? It could be a safety car. ERS is fully charged for Leclerc. So I'm going to neutralize that. So we're good there. Awesome. Right. As you can see now, we are on lap 8 already. So that's great. Leclerc's doing really well in his tires. Better than we expected, actually. Oh, because we were planning to attack, and now we're not attacking. So we can go much longer on this, actually. So we want to go far beyond our pit stop ultimate command. We just want to see if we keep gaining space here. Science, on the other hand, we're doing pretty well with him as well, because we could probably go full push later. But we're preserving our tires well. We're keeping it chilled, and we're hanging up to the back of these guys. No ERS to worry about. The fuel is great for both of our drivers. They're both on a healthy amount of fuel. I know that says plus 8, but I don't think that's correct. Because there's only like 1 kilogram more than Leclerc. Which doesn't really make much sense. So yeah, we'll see what we can do. I don't want to use it up now. We can probably use Science for faster slap later when he's on his mediums. That would probably be best for us. But we've also got to see if we can stay ahead of these, these two Red Bulls. So oh, look at him go. Sheesh. He's actually just pulled away now. Wow, okay. We're just naturally overtaking Perez now quite crazy actually if you think about it but wow what a rush so this is going to be a while we basically just have to wait for an event Jeddah's like pretty insane we could make some crazy move where we try send science flying past these guys but i don't think it's the best long-term strategy we're gonna have to really focus after the pit stop position because that's where things are gonna go crazy up 11 now and look at that we are still keeping right up behind these guys everyone's bunched up together we've Made a massive gap on the two Mercedes. The Mercedes aren't even really that close to each other. It's actually Bottas trying to take out the Mercedes. So Bottas is really trying to ruin the party there. When Joe is all the way back there fighting with K-Mag. So Bottas in this game is quite OP. I love it. He's doing so well in his little alpha. And in real life, he's actually had some really bad luck. So it's kind of cool to see him like really showing there in the game. It's awesome. I'm loving it. Anyways, look at us go. Just holding on to the back of these guys. Good old Jetta. Oh, wow. Science is pushing like crazy. We're actually not pushing. We're just taking it really chilled. I'm so glad. I'm thinking we can go light on the tires, you know? Look at that. Although, Perez is just centered. We need to go aggressive. We need to catch up to the back of Perez. This is a bit crazy. How did this happen? We need to go catch up to the back of Perez. Perez is running away. Ricardo and Mick Schumacher are the first to pit. Let's see if one of them takes each other in the pits. The Haas could have a really quick pit stop and beat... Oh, no, no, no. That was a very quick pit stop from the McLarens. I doubt the Haas are going to overtake him. Will they? Oh, just not. Just not. They actually lost a good chunk of time there. Because look how far behind he is now. They were right behind each other and now they're not. Anyways, Science is trying to catch up to Perez. You know, if anything... It might be really good for us if Verstappen isn't able to catch up to us. Although I think he will. He's going to have DRS now. If he didn't have DRS, we would have probably been able to catch to Perez and actually break away from Verstappen, which would have been really good for us. But let's see. Let's see if we do a hard push. Let's do a full attack. Just to try and get away from Verstappen. Okay, there's no more DRS zones until we get around to that bend. So here's Science. And in front of him, we have Perez that we're trying to catch up to. And hopefully we can catch up to Perez by that little section over there. Very important for us. Very, very important for us. Doesn't look like we are catching him though. Which is a big worry. Huge worry for us. Because now Verstappen is just going to... We're basically dragging Verstappen back to Perez. 
But I know we want to get science to catch up to Paris because if we don't, we we get shafted a bit. It's not that great. Okay, cool. We have caught up, so we're gonna go neutral on our ERS there. And I think we even go standard on the tires and just push a bit on fuel because that's probably where we can we could play with a bit more because we have extra fuel based on how the Claire is doing. The Claire's kind of got an average amount of fuel, but science he's got some extra fuel to play with, which is awesome. And we actually caught right back up again. But that was a bit of a a dodgy a dodgy scenario. Because if we look at science here. Can we keep catching up to Paris now, despite the fact we're harvesting our ERS back up again? We're doing fine now. We have DRS here at the straight within a second, so we get our DRS over there. I think we'll get our DRS. Yep, there it is. We should pull right up to the back of Paris now, which is awesome. It's just what we needed, really. But Leclerc has pulled ahead. Seven and a half seconds ahead. That is insane. Oh, it's blowing my mind. Look at that. Oh, and we're taking it chilled. We're taking it really relaxed. Okay, who's got what tires here? So, Perez is the one who will pit first. He's on the mediums there. Oh, look at Verstappen go. Wow, what is going on here? There's like, the three of us are going wide in the... Oh my word. That is crazy. Okay, our ERS is fully charged. That's probably why we weren't really pushing very hard there. But wow, what a move. How is that done for our time? Leclerc's pulled the gap even further. So now I just hope that Leclerc doesn't crash, really. That's all I can hope and dream for. I think we're doing fine here with, uh, with science. We could maybe try go light again. But last time we went light, we really lost the pace. So I don't know. I don't want him to fight too much with these guys ahead. I think I just want him to keep up with them. So that's why we're keeping it as it is. The DRS zone will keep us up to the back of them. Even while we're going light, we're making moves on Verstappen, which blows my mind. That is crazy. Look at them go. It's insane. It's really insane. Okay, so. Let's see. They're going and going and going. We're still good on our... Wow, we're so good. We can go flying. If anything, can I change my strategy? I want to edit my strategy to push the laps like way later. And just say, hey, we're going like normal pace now because that's that's insane like that is honestly insane right now with what we're doing we're updating the strategy now there we go we've updated the strategy for Leclerc because that that is just that's blowing my mind just look at that it's such a we're doing so well we're doing so much better than I expected we're not even pushing and we are eight and a half seconds ahead we're taking it chilled, not deploying anything. We just managed to... That was the strategy. It's just pull ahead. Okay, sector one. What has happened? A competitor has crashed. That changes everything. I hope we don't get a safety car because that would ruin my lead that Leclerc has. It's a crash. Alonso crashed. Oh, no. Now watch this. Here's if we did get a safety car, we'd probably have to pit Leclerc because pit him and then just go really conservative. Clearly something went very, very oh, there. that was a very awkward crash. Not going to lie. But it looks like it's just a yellow flag. They're fixing it all up. It's all good. I know in real life that would have been a safety car, but in the game it's not. <laughs> if we did have a safety car there, I would have probably pitted Leclerc. That would have been insane. Where is Alonso after that? He is over here. He's got his broken little front wing. Bit of a shame. Poor Alonso. It's not that badly damaged, but I'm sure he's going to come in now. I'm sure if we speed this up, we'll see him go straight into the pits. At least he hasn't pitted yet. So it's not like he missed up a pit stop. Hamilton's putting on new hards. Alonso's going into the pits. That's interesting. What a move. Our guys up here are doing well. Sainz is preserving his tires very well. Again, we wanted to go long to kind of capitalize off of a safety car if a safety car does happen. But at the same time, I don't want a safety car to happen because Leclerc has got a nice healthy lead and the safety car would ruin that lead. But you never know. I think even if, if there is a safety car, Leclerc will probably end up ahead. Okay, look. Alonso comes out ahead of Ricardo. That is insane. Okay, let's look back at Sainz. Have a look at him. Let's push forward again. See, we're keeping up on the times. So that is fantastic. And we're just going to go along. We want to go all the way to lap 23 before we start pitting with Leclerc. So it's a good six laps to go. We'll see what happens here. Science has overtaken Perez. What happened there? I mean, it's the typical thing. We have DRS. 
Max is holding up Perez, so we just naturally made a pass to him without even trying. It was close. It was very, very close. So we just squeezed him out there. Big squeeze. Oh, look, we're still kind of pushing on Max there, so I'm happy because we're not even doing much with our tires. Our Ferrari team is very happy because, look, we're still conserving our pace here at the tires just so that we can go along if we need to. And then we can do a full push on mediums at the end. Like, we can go full attack on mediums at the end at this rate. So I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm quite happy with the strategy we're taking now. I think it's going very well. Right, let's see if we speed this up a bit. Where will we end up? Let's wait for something to happen. Because right now, nothing's really happening. We are just waiting for lap 23 to come when we put Leclerc. And then we want to see what actually happens. Perez is pitting. Perez is pitting on lap 18. He's gone into the pits. It's a huge one for us. They're putting it on. So that's insane. That That is crazy. Perez has made his pit stop. And Perez just beat it now. I'm thinking... Oh, the best thing we can really do now is actually start to attack and push ahead with science. Let's see if we can deploy and get away from Verstappen and stop the fight. Because Perez was the one that was really fast because he was on mediums and now he's on hards. So I think we need to use science to try and make the best of these hards and just push hard and then we can switch to mediums later. Like the strategy has changed. Although I should have foreseen this coming because Perez was always going to pit before us. But now that I see we're actually doing really well and we can still push on mediums, I'm going to go full push with with science just to see if we can break that gap to Verstappen. It's a bit of a weird one because we are going into a DRS zone now. And there will be another one. But after that straight there, we can try and make a proper pull away from Verstappen. And I think our DRS, our ERS will handle it. We'll be able to maintain ERS all the way through to around this bend here where the other guys are. And try build that gap to Verstappen so he doesn't have DRS to catch up to me. Or at least that's the dream, that's the hope. So let's see, there's Verstappen chasing us down. We want this gap to get bigger, but alas, he's catching right up to us. And now, obviously, we have this this zone here where there's a long straight. Oh, we got the fastest lap with science. But yeah, this is tense. This is tense. Okay, now now is the moment that really matters. Like, can we pull properly away from Max in this moment? I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can. He caught up right to the back of me there, which is slightly terrifying. We can see we're actually shortening that gap between us and Leclerc as well, which is quite crazy. But this is the moment that's going to matter the most. Can Science pull away from Max here? Can he actually get away? It looks like we're doing it. If we can get away before the next DRS detection zone, which is so close, we need to get over a second. If we can get away. Oh, but he's so strong in those straights. Maybe this corner, maybe this corner. Can we get away from Verstappen? We're over a second. Do we do it before we get into the DRS zone? Can we keep pushing? Is Max going to have DRS now? This is the, th the section here where, where Leclerc just passed. In five seconds, we'll know. There's a straight here, and we want to know if Verstappen's going to get DRS. I don't think he made it past the DRS detection zone. So Science is able to successfully pull ahead now. I'm going to keep him pushing hard because I don't want Verstappen to close that gap. I'll push on the fuel as well. we got way more fuel than Leclerc, so I think we're okay there. Once we get to the same level as Leclerc, we'll start hanging out a bit more. Vettel is pitting as well. This is happening. He's coming out of the pits, but he's dead last. I guess Latifi probably hasn't pitted yet. That's probably why. We're keeping that gap on Verstappen. This is really good for us. This is really, really, really good for us. Pit window's entered for Leclerc, but we don't want to pit yet because we're actually doing really well. We're doing even better than I expected with the tires. I think soon we're going to want to start pushing with these tires, though. Maybe once we do reach the optimal pit top lap, then we'll start pushing until it makes sense to actually pit. Do some final pushes on the tires but right now going normal on the pace is probably the best strategy we can do Verstappen that gap is growing we are dominating this year with Ferrari and we put on the wrong suspension so look at that we didn't even need the good suspension it's in it's really it's crazy it's insane I don't even know what to say like wow look at that okay I'm gonna go balanced on the fuel now just for a little bit it's a bit weird that science has 63 kilograms of fuel left and Leclerc's got 59, but Leclerc's doing fine on his delta. Like, Leclerc's only 6 seconds ahead of science, so this is slightly broken and terrifying because, yeah. But apparently they're going to fix that soon. I think the fix is coming out for that, like, literally next week. So that will be cool. Anyways, let's see how we do here. Science is doing well. He's really spreading that gap, and he's actually catching up to Leclerc. Although we are pushing like crazy on the tires. I want to go aggressive on the tires. I think we can hold these hards on for longer now. I think we maintained that gap really well. 
And this is a healthy healthy strategy for us to take. Leclerc's going well. He's he's just hanging out, having a good time. Everything's chilled. We haven't caught the back markers yet. If you look at the full leader gap, nobody's been lapped yet. Although Leclerc is coming close to Vettel and Latifi. They haven't been lapped yet, and I don't think we will lap them soon because we need to pit soon. So even if we do lap them, we'll probably end up pitting. Let's just see if we did pit now, where would we be? We'd exit third. So literally we would we would like we'd be behind Verstappen, but we'd be ahead of everyone else, which is very important. I mean it would be a bit of a surprise if we didn't. What if science pits now? Where would he exit? He'd exit fourth. So he'd exit behind Bottas and Ferrari Perez. So we there's a five second gap there. It's not really that great. Um how long does a pit actually take? A pit stop estimated time to mediums is 20 seconds okay so the pit stops are like 20 seconds so we are actually doing well we're ahead of science which is great we don't want to save anything here we're all good okay and Leclerc is starting to get to that point where we do want to consider pitting him so I'm going to start attacking hard with the tires I think we can we can attack hard because even if we go hard on the hards we'll be good so we might go past we'll go like target plus one or target plus two we just want to go until like his tires are down to like 33 percent then we want to consider actually properly pitting but for now we just push hard on the tires no this is not the optimal pit stop lap anymore because we've done better than we expected which is fantastic science still pushing hard let's look at that interval we're growing that gap to verstappen this is great i think what we want to do now is go standard with science and then if the step and pit we just push hard on science until it makes sense to actually pit if anything we can harvest a little bit of ers just to just to do well there try and make sure that gap is still going but we want to get our ers full so that when the step does pit we do a full deploy and try and make a proper gap on him so we can pop up nicely ahead of him in front of the pits or nicely ahead of Perez, it doesn't, we don't really know. We don't know if uh, Verstappen or Perez are going to be in front. I don't know if Verstappen pits if he's in front of Perez or behind Perez. So that's the big worry here. Like what's actually going to happen? Anyways, let's push through. Leclerc is going well, he's going strong. Everything is good here. We can see he's just crushing it. Science is doing well. The gap is shortening though between him and Verstappen, which is slightly terrifying. But that's okay. That is all right. It's shortening a lot actually okay i'm not gonna harvest ers anymore because that seems to be really shooting us because verstappen's within three seconds again which is not great so if we stop harvesting ers will we be okay that is the ultimate question now okay leclerc is i think we do one more lap with leclerc let's just do one more really fast flying speedy lap actually no i think we bring him in now I think we gotta bring Leclerc in now. 33%? I don't know. Ah, uh, let's not bring him in now. Let's let's send him out one more lap. Really really use these mediums up. Okay, we're gonna harvest we're gonna go lap now. We're gonna go for a pit stop. Put on some hards. Good to go. This so is great. Box now. Box pit's confirmed it's happened we went through half the race on the medium so we can actually do a proper push now on the hards like we can literally we can stay pushing hard the whole time we're lapping cars now so that's important does that mean we get drs that's the real question here are we gonna fly past them before we get drs yep okay well they at least they didn't block me they actually they helped me out a lot okay so science is also gonna catch up to these guys How's his tires doing? I think him going standard is actually is good enough right now. The fact that we're just standard and ahead of Max, probably also going standard. Our tires are about just as good as his. I rate we put one lap after Max pits. When Max does pit, we're just gonna push hard. We're gonna push hard and pit straight after him. So let's just see what happens there. Leclerc is coming in for the pit stop. Hopefully nothing happens to his tires. It's actually slightly worrying. We just go aggressive for a little bit. Not like hard, hard push. I don't want it to crash. That would be terrifying. Okay, we're coming into the pits. It's happening. It's happening. The big exciting moves are happening. This is this is ah oh, this is what we need. Look at that. Driver locked up. Another driver locked up. Who locked up? It looks like it was Verstappen. Verstappen locked up. Oh no, he's just pitting. 
Did the Stappen lock up? Who locked up? Someone ran wide. It was Alonso. I wonder what that caused. I think it might have ruined Verstappen because Verstappen looked a bit slow there. I don't know what happened there because it looked like Verstappen lost time, but that was actually Verstappen gaining time on Leclerc. So Leclerc has pitted. He's out now. And we're only six seconds behind Verstappen. So Leclerc, I don't even have to really go hard, hard. I'm just going to go keep it aggressive on the pace. And we should be good. I think of anything. Like Leclerc is... He's so sorted now. We're just going to go normal pace. We're only six seconds behind Verstappen. So we're clearly far in the lead. Let's not risk anything with Leclerc. The next one we have to worry about is actually science. Tires are getting a little warm, but they're probably going to get warmer because I'm probably going to push them a bit more now. Sector 2, what has happened? Driver crashed! Oh no, Leclerc's crashed! No! Oh, it's a red flag! It's my first ever red flag! Okay? <gasps> no! Yeah, I'm okay. That is crazy! What happened? Let's see what happened? We were going chilled. I just said don't risk it. Oh no! He's retired. Oh no, this is terrible. At least... At least with science now, we get to put on new soft. This is my first ever red flag. That was... That was crazy. Oh, race suspended. Time until session restarts, 20 minutes. The weather is going to be for Obviously, there won't be any water. Teams can make limited changes before the session restarts and may not serve penalties. Okay, that's normal. This is my first ever red flag in this game. Leclerc is retired. One car has major damage to multiple parts and will be unable to restart the session. That is terrible. Science is going to start first. I'm going to put science onto his mediums now, obviously. Like, this makes no sense for us to not put onto mediums. But wow, that's crazy. That ruins our race. That really ruins it. I thought we'd get both cars easily top. Oh, the red flag is active. Like, even if we had damage, we would have been able to recover, I think. But no, that was a red flag. Our car was decimated. Okay, let's make those tire changes. That's all we really need to do. And then we're going to have a start right up front. This is crazy. No car parts to worry about. We're good there. We don't have to replace anything. Everything else is good. Okay, cool. So, this is crazy. Okay, let's confirm. That is insane. That is literally insane. So here we have Science. He's hanging out there. Everyone's on the grid. And we have the new start. That is crazy. What a run. This was insane. That's a huge twist to the race. Oh my word. Okay, lights out and away we go. Let's go aggressive. I think we should go aggressive to the end. Actually, we, we can't go aggressive. We need to go standard. Can I go full attack and just deploy a bit of ERS? Oh, I didn't even have my ERS fully saved up. Okay, let's get away from these guys before... Okay, Bottas and Joe are ahead of Perez. So we don't have to worry about Perez as much anymore. Which is crazy. But I think everyone's on new tires now, aren't they? Yeah, everyone put on brand new tires. But they're all on mediums. So uh, we're pushing now to try to get away. But as soon as we get out of the second zone... Oh, Bottas is already more than a second behind. So they're really going to hold up Perez quite a lot. So Perez is not a threat. It's science first for Stappen now for the win. Oh, but that's so unfortunate for Leclerc. Okay, we're going to go aggressive now. We're going to go neutral. We, we're going to be okay here. Okay, we're actually, we're doing really well. We've properly pulled ahead. Wow, that was crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What a, what an insane way to go. Like, that was literally crazy. Oh, that blew my mind. That actually blew my mind. The red flag of all things. Oh, but at least science. He got his free pit stop, which is great. I don't know if Verstappen also got a free pit stop. What would have been really nice is if... Verstappen had pitted and then the red flag happened, but oh Leclerc, why did you why did you do that? We decided to go conservative to be safe and then he, he still failed. It's so tragic. It's absolutely tragic. So Bottas and Joe are probably gonna hold up Perez nicely now. Verstappen is like, you know, nicely ahead, which is cool. And yeah, let's just see. How long is it gonna take before Perez gets past these two? Because these guys are not catching up to Verstappen, and Verstappen's not catching up to me, which is great. So we might actually survive to the end. Um, let me just... 
Ooh, sector two, what happened? Something happens in sector two. There was a yellow flag for a second. Bottas locked up. Oh no. Yo, imagine. Imagine he locked up and hit someone else. That would have been insane. Wow. What a run. Okay. So we're forgetting that lots of things can still happen. I want to look at the strategy. And for well, Leclerc's strategy is pointless. If we just go conservative from here, we should actually be fine. <clears throat> I think we'll be okay if we do that. That's that's all good. So that's cool. Taking a chill. Perez is still stuck behind Joe, which is fantastic. He's not going to catch up to Max, I, I rate. At this rate, he's not going to catch up. If anything, Ocon's going to be fighting Perez now. Oh, Joe's doing such a good job holding everyone up. I mean, that's huge for Joe to be in the podium fighting position. No wonder Bottas probably locked up under pressure. He's all the way at the back. The poor guy. Oh, that's insane. But look at this battle going on here. These guys are insane. They're all just pushing, like, all the way. Okay, I mean, it looks like they're pulling away from the others now. But, wow, what a rush. Oh, Joe's doing such a good job defending. And Science is doing such a good job just staying ahead of Max. You can go balanced approach on the fuel because I don't want him to... You know, burn everything now. We're, we're close enough ahead. Uh, again, the ERS, we have enough to not need to harvest. I think we'll be okay there. If like a safety car or something happens, we'll harvest fully and gain it full again. But yeah, right now we just want to try to take a conservative approach to stay ahead. I really hope that science doesn't crash as well. Leclerc's mistake really cost us badly there. That was terrible. He was doing so well. He was dominating. Oh, the only consolation prize is we save some money, but after that, in the constructors, like, we get plus 26 points and Red Bull gets plus 33, so that's not fantastic. It would have been nicer if Bottas and Joe were properly holding up Perez, but now it looks like Perez is actually pulled far ahead of Joe. I don't know, maybe we get lucky and one of the Red Bulls crashes, but it's not great for us. But that does mean that if we look at these results, Science is going to be dominating in the lead. He's going to be... 51 points ahead. Oh, we do have to worry about maybe trying to get the fastest lap with science later on. I almost want to go conservative a bit and, you know, push for a fastest lap later. It's crazy. I would hope that science can keep the fastest lap. That would still be really good for us because if he does keep the fastest lap, that's an extra, extra good payout for us. And, you know, we, we need our money. We need our money long term to, to keep us doing well. I think, you know, there's a chance that we could actually renew Science's contract to not pay him bonuses for when he comes first, because he's doing so well. His morale's probably quite high right now, being a two-time race winner right up front. Um, we could just say, like, hey, dude, you care about the, the Drivers' Championship. We'll help you get that, but we don't want to pay you a million dollars every time you come first, because, damn, it's annoying. It's really, really, really frustrating. <laughs> I can see now why Leclerc gets so sad every time Verstappen beats him because, like, you know, he wants to come first and he probably gets paid a ton whenever he comes first. Wow, okay, well, we're, we're comfortably keeping ahead of Verstappen now, which is also great. Everything's good there. Oh, I think we just rush it up a bit because, look, there's not much more to do. There's no strategy involved. We kind of just need to comfortably stay in front of Verstappen. I'm so sad about Leclerc being out there. That's so tragic. Okay, let's see. Is anything big going to happen? I really don't want my driver to lock up, because if he does, that would really suck. I don't want to crash, I don't want anything bad to happen. We're keeping the gap, which is fantastic. And we know that we have some more stuff in our arsenal here, like we know that we can push on the tires if we need to get that gap up again. So that's good. Perez is falling further behind, so he's not going to be a threat at all. It's just, it's just us and Verstappen. So the two of them can't use some weird DRS tricks to, to catch up to me, which is awesome. What a crazy race. I can't believe I got my first red flag while recording a video. That was insane. I've been playing an Aston Martin on my streams on the side and we, we've we never had a red flag before. And now we had a huge crash and the red flag was caused by us. Like, that was crazy. I can't believe it. It's very tragic to see Leclerc have such a big crash. New fastest lap, strong lap. We got a new fastest lap without even trying. That's fantastic. Because we are actually going to be pushing more soon. But that is scary because Verstappen's keeping up with us. That means he is in contention for doing fastest laps. So we do have to be concerned there. And especially if Verstappen does catch up to us and gets DRS, then he's going to easily get fastest laps. So if this drops behind one and a half seconds, although we're gaining, we're gaining. If this drops to below 
we need to start panicking. And then around lap 48, we'll start doing our fastest lap pushes for real. Like, you know, we'll just go full on on tires and just push hard to keep the fastest lap. Break that gap from Verstappen, deploy ERS, you know, go big. Although, I'm so scared now of our drivers crashing because of what just happened to Leclerc. That would really suck. And the fact that we are gaining that gap means Verstappen's not really going for fastest laps. That's cool. And here we are going into lap 48. I'm going to start... I'm not going to push now. I'm going to push at the end of lap 48. Uh, look, we're clearly keeping that gap of a stopper, but just in case he's going to do some pushes for fastest laps, you never know the AI might do that. I'm going to push as well. So, we've clearly got enough fuel now, which is great, because there's three more laps, and we literally we have like three laps plus the Delta. So I'm going to push hard on fuel, uh, which is great. We're sorted there. And then I'm going to harvest just a little bit. Just a small amount. Actually, we're going we're gonna to do this. We'll harvest a bit because at the end of this, we're going to do two flying laps to see if we can get some fastest laps just to, to really cover ourselves and maintain the fastest lap. So we're harvesting our ERS right now. And then when we get to this bend here, that's when we're going to start pushing everything. Verstappen's clearly not catching up to us. So that's cool. We might even want to go light on the tires. Just just a little bit light so that we can do a proper push at the end. Because that will cool down the tires to do a real good, amazing fastest lap push. I think that's what would happen. I don't know. I don't really know. Like what's our car? Our wheels are... Oh, they're good temps. Like even there, they're kind of hot. So a bit scary. You can see the right is definitely taking more strain than the left. So that's quite crazy. But yeah, Verstappen's not catching us, which is great. Okay, now we're going to do the push. We're doing the push. Deploy. Okay, mode push and you can push. Deploy for science. Okay. There we go. Look at him go. This is the big push. Can we get new fastest laps? Oh, we're already using up all our ERS there. Like crazy. That is insane. The ERS is just gone. We should gain more there at that corner. Yep, that's where we gain most of it. And then we lose it all through here. All these little straight sections, we just deploy ERS like crazy. And look at that gap. Look at that gap grow. Oh my goodness. We're doing so well. We're going to easily get a faster slap here. I think I think after this, we just go standard. Once we get our faster slap for this lap, we take a chill on the last lap. Because look at that. Like, look at that domineerance by science. I really hope we don't crash. I'm so scared of crashing now. Like, we had Leclerc just, like, guaranteed in the front. And then it turns out he was not guaranteed in the front. Because that was crazy. Yeah, we definitely actually can't push another lap here. Like, let's get past the line, get that fastest lap, and then there's no points in... Oh. Okay, cross the line, definitely fastest lap. The driver last lap. I think we got a fastest lap there. We'll push on the fuel, but we'll take it chilled on the tires. I think we even have to take it light now, because... That was a bit that was a bit hard of a push. Let's get science around over the line. I'm so scared. This is the moment. This is the moment. Science is going to cross the line. He's gonna be so happy. I'm so excited. Oh this is gonna be huge. Look, he's doing it. Oh, that's the chicken flag. Oh look at him, he's so happy. That's insane. I will think for you. And Sainz crosses the line first. He's taken the win. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Oh, that was crazy. What a great run from Sainz. That was literally insane. Okay, cool. Well, we crossed the line. Let's push through and watch everyone else cross the line in their positions. Unfortunately, Verstappen and Perez did finish 2-3, so that's not good for Ferrari because that sets them ahead of us in the Constructors. Not ahead of us, but just they're closing the gap between us and the Constructors, as you can see here. They're only 10 points off us in the Constructors, which is scary because, oh, I don't want them to do well. I'm scared of them doing well. They always, like, they can crash and they come back, but Leclerc crashes and is out. Look, that's definitely not great for us because... Charles Leclerc didn't finish, so I know the team's celebrating. They're celebrating the fact that Carlos still managed to win, but that's still not great for us because Red Bull's actually gotten closer to us in the Constructors. As you can see, Mercedes is in a comfortable third, and Alfa Romeo just overtook Alpine, so there's a close fight there, and Alfa Tauri is also kind of in that fight. Otherwise, it's just McLaren and Haas there fighting for the scraps. But yeah, in the Drivers' Championship, 
Carlos Sainz is up there. Charles Leclerc's dropped down to fourth now. He's actually like right, right in front of Russell, like barely in front of Russell. But he had such an unlucky second race there. It's so crazy. Anyways, let's dive in to look at how the board feels about us. Do we get any more development points from anyone? I think we did from Leclerc and Giovinazzi somehow. No, we didn't get any new points. We just got some stuff. Okay, well, the driver bonuses for Carlos are cheaper. So let's go look into this. Let's see what's going to happen. I need to go look at how the board is doing. I'm sure they, they're not that happy. They're satisfied with Jeddah because, you know, obviously Leclerc crashed. So that's not good for us when a crash happens because it's not good for the board. They're not going to be insanely happy with us, which means we might lose some money. With drivers, though, because Carlos's morale is really high. Let's see if we can renew his contract and not pay him a lump sum bonus. Like, let's just go for a long term, because we know we want to keep him long. And offer him this contract. What we're paying him now, but without the lump sum bonus. Okay. He has declined that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Like, without the race target bonus, that's the big, the big issue. Um, let's try and go back to negotiations. We'll pay him a little bit more. Like, 12 and a half. Give him a good, like... One more lump sum bonus. Total cost of hiring. Over time. We're going to give him that good old one more bonus. Because then we don't have to pay him a million every time he wins. You know. So this actually works out better for us. Because he does seem to win a lot. And get him in forever. Okay, he's declined the contract. If the lump sum bonus was better... He might accept it. So let's let's give him two more. Okay. We'll give him a good old two more lump sum bonus. No race target bonuses though. Because the race target bonuses are not good for us. It's going to cost us a good two more. But I think this, this is going to be huge for us. While the team is still... While the morale is high. You know, he's been winning races for us. He's got high morale. Like, let's do it. This is the best time to make the move happen. Oh, he's still declining. He's not happy with the salary. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna like uh let's get him up to up to 13 mil. Okay, we'll offer him the contract now. Maybe he'll accept. Otherwise, his patience is dropping too low, so we can't keep him. Okay, we failed. We failed our city there. Let's see if we can do the same with Leclerc. Let's I like this is important. This is really important for us to save some good money. So, and then if Leclerc does accept this, I'll give him a little bit of a, a bonus here. Okay, we're good there. Give him five seasons because he is young. And let's just try this. Offer him the contract. Oh, he's happy with the salary. Oh, they want that race target bonus. Okay. So, let's give him a lump sum bonus. Because that's the thing. is He's going to win a lot of races, hopefully. So, I don't want him to i don't want him to go away man i don't want him to leave so let's give him a mole see if he's happy with the mole because paying him a mill once off versus paying him a million every time he wins a race i'm hoping he wins a lot of races scary because look he was actually doing better he's faster than carlos oh contract applied again okay let's go back let's negotiate a little bit more we'll give him two mil Two more, it's gonna happen. Let's let's give that a shot and see if we can do. Otherwise, we need to focus on making our team even more attractive. Because right now, like, uh, I don't want that bonus threshold at all. I don't want to spend any money on that bonus threshold. Come on, Leclerc. Yes. Oh, he's accepted. Let's renew that. It's only gonna cost us two more. I am never gonna financially recover from. That. And the salary goes up like what? A little bit. But you know. I think we're going to win more, and I think overall, in the long run, if we win two races, we already save our money, so. Because constantly paying him out, now we're going to give him preference. We're going to give him preference over Science. Like, we don't want Science. Science wins only if Leclerc crashes. That's the new strategy. Okay, we know how the race went. It went well. The borders, they, they've increased their confidence with us, which is great. Let's just look at all our drivers, make sure their points are all used. So we've got their points used. That's great. Antonio Giovinazzi, we're going to get rid of him at the end of the year because we probably just want to hire some cheap... Like, what's his contract at? We want to hire some cheap dude who's, like, really cheap to sign. Staff, anyone gained any expertise here? No. Okay, let's look at the calendar for moving ahead. 
I think we're going to carry on with the calendar in the next episode. But guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit it with a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you next time. You can also catch me on Twitch Mondays to Thursdays, streaming from 9pm British Standard Time. See you guys there. All the best. Cheers, cheers.